local artists have added their creative flair to the Malacca residents' push for a proposed major reclamation project running 22 kilometers along the coastline to cease over concerns of its potential impact on the environment and community. An online petition launched by a Malacca Coastline Protection Committee calling on the federal government to intervene and stop the project had garnered more than 20,000 signatures thus far. Before the movement control order was imposed nationwide, a small group of artists worked with residents to set up benches made of wooden pallets and reclaimed pieces of wood at the beach in Kampung Hailam. The eye-catching art pieces have the words Malacca Sea Matters and Sayangi Laut Malacca, Love the Malacca Sea, spray painted over them, while one painting depicted a turtle saying Jang An La. The goal was simple, to raise greater awareness among the local community and the public about the major land reclamation that was going to take place off Malacca's shores. Faris Aziz was among the artists who built and painted these wooden structures before setting them up on the beach. I used to go for picnics at the beach or just hang out at the seaside. Often, I would go to Pantai Putri in Tanjung Kling to cycle along the beach or just to swim. I hope they'll stop the reclamation to save the sea, ecosystem and environment. This is our heritage after all, said Faris, who moved to Malacca with his family when he was in Form 5. With the MCO entering its third week now, the petition lost some momentum with the number of signatures plateauing. However, Faris and his troops plan to set up more artworks protesting the reclamation in other locations, including the more popular Klebang Beach once the lockdown was over. The land reclamation is part of the state government's Malacca Waterfront Economic Zone project, to be built on 6,070 hectares of reclaimed land from Umbai to Tanjung Bruas.